Mark chapter 11, verses 12 to 26. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers? The chief priests and the teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared him because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly I tell you, if you say to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and do not doubt it in your heart, but believe that what you say will happen, it will be done for you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Today, our passage comes in two halves. We have this famous scene where Jesus comes into the temple, as he often did with his disciples in the days leading up to the festival of Passover. And he sees the corruption that is taking place in the outer courts. These outer courts were the set aside for Gentile worship and were open to all people. These activities being done in the temple were not necessarily wrong, as in temple times, people needed to buy animals to make sacrifices, but it was where and how it was happening that Jesus was rebuking. Jesus is quoting Isaiah 56, verse 7, when he says, It is written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all the nations. But then Jesus says, But you have made it a den of robbers. Where might we have let things come into our lives that distract us from our true calling to be people of prayer? And where might these distractions have drawn our attention away from worshipping God? In the second part of this passage, we get this wonderful moment with some teaching about prayer. The passage can also be quite challenging though. This is because we know, don't we, that sometimes when we pray, even if we're like, as Jesus says here, that there is no doubt in our hearts when we pray uh, that something will happen, but it just sometimes doesn't. Elsewhere in other gospels, we read that if we have faith even the size of a mustard seed, that we can move mountains and that nothing will be impossible for him. This again can be challenging, but I think we get a hint of what Jesus means in the Garden of Gethsemane, which we will reach at later on in the week, where Jesus prays that famous prayer, not my will, but yours be done. As we draw into a relationship with God and start to surrender to his will, our prayers start to align with his and we start to pray his heart. This is what I believe Jesus is saying here. So where might doubt have come into our prayer lives, which has prevented us and made us giving up praying for things? What might the Lord be highlighting to us where our prayer lives need refreshing? Lord, I'm 
sorry for where I have let things in that distract and get in the way from our calling to be people of prayer. Lord, would you make our lives ones of constant prayer and communing with you? Lord, would you help me see the things that you are calling me to do and to pray? Would you give me eyes and ears to see where you are, where you are working so we can join in with your will? And Lord, help us again to pray, not my will, but yours be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Mm-hmm.